I have been waiting for this day since I reacted to the intro for this show. Out of all of the intros I have heard on this channel, by far my favorite is for this show. So Vinland Saga being the anime with my favorite intro, my expectations are beyond the roof. If this show sucks, I'm gonna go suck it. Y'all voted this pretty high. More than One Piece and Love is War, you wanted me to react to this show. So that's what I'm gonna do because... I actually am in love with every single one of you. All right, you little bastards. Let's get to the show. I thought that was the fucking anime. I'm like, where are the pirate ships and the boats? I didn't know there were motorcycles and modern technology in this show. I thought we were going back to like before Christ. the fuck? Oh my god! What was that? Bro, why am I crying? I don't even know what character's name is. His name is Thor? Oh my god, like the way the fucking an- Oh my god, the animation's amazing. I love what they did right there. I know nothing about this character, but the way they connect you instantly showing you that this guy probably had a nice life before this. It's like a soldier going to war, and now he's on the battlefield reminiscing about his past life. It looked like he had a wife and a child. And now he's... Oh, fuck. That was beautiful, man. How short is this guy? Is that a giant? I'm guessing giants do exist because of the era it's in. Imagine you're in the middle of war on, on warships and you see people doing that fucking parkour on the ships, man. Oh, my God. What? How? Guy got a fucking arrow through his chest right now, and he's like, whatever. We're getting straight into the action. This is incredible. Oh, oh that's so sick. Look at him! He just got a fucking arrow through his chest! How do you swim with that? So this character is God. Everything he's just done, a normal human being can't do. Me, I'd be dead on the floor. I'd be one of those side characters by now. But it looks like he's affected by this, so he's not like- He doesn't have inhuman strength, I believe. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe that's an intro. Somewhere far away. The setting got me. I haven't seen an anime so far that tackles a setting like this. The music is already outstanding, bro. Everything so far! Look at this shot! I could have went here when I went to Iceland. I could have visited this kid. I could have gave him candy. Wow, well, that sounded fucking wrong. I meant because he looks starving, okay? <laughs> Holy fuck! What, he just get back from chest day? Damn! He probably gets all the cows and goats and whatever other animal visits. He probably gets the girls too. So is this the character that we saw on the boat in the beginning that becomes God? That's a real fucking tree. That's a real tree. This is an anime, man. So this is what we're gonna do now? This is the type of anime I'm watching now? Where the visuals are gonna blow me away just as much as the story? And the music? I should've known it's Netflix.
So they're conquering this new continent they just found. Vinland! Ah! Now, now I know, now I know why it's called Vinland Saga. Leaf Erickson? Isn't that in SpongeBob? Leaf Erickson? Leaf Happy Leaf Erickson Day. Bro, fucking SpongeBob shows up in this show. It's gonna be better than Attack on Titan for me. It's almost like this is in the real world, like our world, with an anime touch to it. Is that his daddy? Oh shit, okay. Oh shit, so in the beginning when they show him in this area, I'm guessing Vinland, it shows the the wife and him as a little baby. Okay, so connecting. I'm I'm getting I'm getting the characters now. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> Your grandpa's wrong, you little bastard. Oh my god, I want to see all of this. Fuck yeah. <laughs> this guy's gonna end up killing this kid. Oh fuck. That's it. Get your sword out. <laughs> These are actually real people though, like Leif Erikson, Thors. It's like an adaptation of the real world. I'd probably die out there, but I wish I lived there, man. Beautiful. And I'm guessing Vinland is like America. It's supposed to be like North America or something. Man, I am not gay at all. 99.9% .9 straight, like I always say. That 0.1% goes to people that look like this. Like, come on now. Those little curls. Don't you just want to, like, twirl your finger around it? Come on. Damn, bro! The kids, the girl! This guy doesn't get a break! Nani! Nani! The fuck? Oh, it's like a dream. I wanna see this! The Joy Magander! I wanna see this shit, man! This is awesome! Oh, shit, kid! I see you! Oh, that has to be your sister. What am I saying? I mean, the time period. I don't know what they do. I've seen Game of Thrones. God damn, could your hair look any more perfect? They had conditioner in this time? Give me a nice warm hug. <laughs> Let's buy a slave. Is that something that casual to say? I mean, it's the time period, and I'm not, I'm not at all. Okay? I'm not at all. Do, do, do not cancel me. Okay? I don't give a fuck if I get canceled, actually. But don't do it. During this time period, it, it was normal. I'm not defending it, but it was it was the thing. It was normal. So the way she said that, I don't see her as an evil person at the moment. Does that make me a terrible person for saying that? We do things differently. Stop asking. It's like you were born during that time period. This is the mindset that they have were born with. That's what she gets now for saying something like that. The future came up to her now. Is that the guy that was walking in the snow? Looking like he was half dead? Ugh. Oh, it's the runaway slave. She just said she wanted a slave. There it is. Look at this. I am a slut for art, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dad, they all gang up on this guy. He's like 60-something. Here we go with another badass kid. But the difference with this anime is that the parents are alive. I think this is like the first anime where the parents are alive that I've watched. Excluding Spy Family. Huh. Oh, this is what I needed. Oh my gods! So they're different. He even said it, like, we're different. When, when, when the girl or his daughter asked about saying, like, I want to get a slave. Like, we should get a slave to do this work. And he says, no, we're different. We do our things on our own. And now this slave, a runaway slave, looks like he's in trouble. And they're gonna nurture him and, and make sure he's okay. 
it, that's such a cool thing. But at the same time, it's anime. So this guy could literally be the devil that he's holding right now. This could be the, the overlord, the king. Shit. How the fuck did he survive that night, man? Why when I go outside five degree weather, I feel like I'm gonna die? Look at her washing his feet. Reviving this slave. It's so beautiful. And the daughter doesn't want to be doing this because of the, the time period they're in. Norway. It's the real world, guys! Except Vinland. I'm sure Vinland isn't real. This show's gonna make me want to travel again. These are like real names. I feel like it's based on true events with an anime twist. <laughs> Damn! Why would he be lying about that? You foolish geezer, yeah. Yeah, baka! This is a serious show. I love this. Uh oh, now he's gonna see the slave. Is he gonna question things? Look at him giving his life to revive this slave. It just shows you his heart. I wish my mom would greet me when I walk through the door. Welcome home, Nicholas. She didn't even fucking say hi to me when I walked in. <laughs> Shit! It's cold! Get him a fire! Oh, this show's gonna make me cry, I can tell, man. The subject matters it tackles. What, what else happens in this town? Can they breathe? Oh man, this is interesting. This is some interesting shit right here. This is gonna show you who this character is. And he's gonna say something like, you know what, there's nobody here. There's no slave here, we don't know who that is. But the kids are gonna be like, why'd you do that, daddy? Why didn't you give him up? Now we're gonna get in trouble. It's gonna be like a whole dynamic right there. That's fun. This is fun. Not, not that he's a slave. That's not fun. But the story is fun. Not, fuck. How do I get myself out of this? Look at my man, Lee Ferris, and he's like, you don't phase me, bro. We have God on our side. Damn, oh, he's a villain. He has that main character villain look. Definitely. Would they make this fucking beat with the chains from the show? Hell yeah! <laughs> off my left arm. He said that so casual. That's like if, if you're playing against a team in baseball in real life and you're like, you're the guy that got a home run on me. Like he said it so casual. You're the guy that chopped off my left arm. How dare you? Oh shit! My god! This guy's probably good in bed. We hit those chains. Holy mother of dick! Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh! This show is brutal, man! I love it! I don't love what he's doing. I mean, I do have to say that. Do I have to keep saying that? Like, like I love violence, okay? In my shows and shit. This isn't real life. If I like something, it doesn't mean I like it in real life, okay? Cancel me. Do what you must. You can chain me up like he's doing right now. I don't give a fuck. The hair is on the chain! I throw that motherfucker to them. Leave us alone, man. Take him. This is why I would never be a main character. Oh my god. I love how attached he is already. Like, this is just a random stranger slave. And in this era, these slaves are just like cattle during this time. So it's like, well, you know, another sheep died. That's how they look at them in this era. Like, this is basically replicating real life shit that happened in the real world, but with the anime twist. But it's so cool to see this main character, his heart is so big that he treats this guy as if it's his own child. It just shows you his strength and it shows you that he's probably going to die. His life is flashing before his eyes right now. Wow. And he's doing this in front of his kid. Oh, 
Oh my god. Ooh, shit. Uh oh. This is interesting. Oh shit. Oh my god, is this guy gonna die? Did I predict it right? His heart is way too big. He's gonna die, I'm telling you right now. Just a random slave, but he made a promise to him. Oh my god. Oh my god. He set an example for his son. I can see this guy dying and his son following in his father's footsteps. Like even the daughters questioning things like why did why are you doing this? You just gave away, like, a reason why we live for this slave. Like, just throw the fucking slave on the ship. Get him out of here. But but this guy, he's just heroic. He has that heart. He doesn't want to give him away. Oh, I could never be that strong, man. That, that guy would be on the boat two hours ago. Trading animals for a human being? I would never. Never, ever. Could be my own girlfriend. You ain't taking my sheep. The guy died? Oh my god, no! What? Oh. oh my god in heaven, what is this show, bro? The animation, the music, the score, the... Fuck! What the fuck is this? I feel like I'm watching a movie! I can't believe it. I don't know what to say. It's just like a burning torch in the storm. Wait, this is a Japanese? No, not the next episode! Fuck Netflix! It skips the outro! Oh, look, a fish. No, we're waiting for this. So what do I think of the show so far? Well, I like, or in fact, I love how it's kind of real life. Like, this is shit that happened in our real world. And I feel like the time periods are right, too, when they said, like, the AD and everything. 800 I forgot what they said exactly, but it looked like it matched up with our history But then again, there's that anime twist on it like there was no guy named Dorfin I, I believe or, or some of these characters like Leif Erikson's real But like I said, it's it's anime So it's like they they took real shit and added this 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 twist to it Which I really appreciate. It's really interesting. I love what Thor's was doing set an example for his family especially his son who looks up to him, who sees all the answers and wants to be like his father. And the wife seems like this is why she married him. She was smiling, she was content, and it really shows you that feeling from the first minute of the show where they're in like this grassy, peaceful area where she's holding the baby who is now Thorfinn. It, it, it just really captivates that. It really captures that feeling of these two, Thor's and his wife, are in love and they understand each other and they're trying to raise their children the same way. The daughter seems a little rebellious. She's like, oh, well, let's just get a slave. But compared to the kid, she's more influenced by the way of the world right now, like the enemy that showed up at the end. Like she's more influenced by that, but she's also at war with that perception and the perception that her father has, the lifestyle that her father lives by. So she's questioning. She looks like a teenager, so she's questioning things like, why is it like this? Why is it like that? And the kid just wants to be like his father. And that example that the father said in Thor's, it's just a beautiful message. How he gave his life to bring this slave, this, this, this piece of cattle, as they would say back in the day just to get, save his life. Like, he gave everything to make sure he's alive. He gave away eight sheep just to protect this guy because it's another human being. He feels responsible for him. He made a promise saying that we're going to take you here. You could live with our family here. But the guy ended up dying. And he doesn't regret it. I feel like Thor's is not going to regret it. He followed his heart. 
and that's what he's always going to do and make sure that he sets that example for his son thor's Thorfinn, Thorsfinn, Thor, 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 blah, blah, blah. They even mentioned Norway. Like, I, I love how they're tackling this. I'm not sure exactly where Vinland is supposed to be in regards of our map, our real world map. But I'm interested in seeing where this goes, man. I love the setting. I, I love the characters are so cool already, especially the um, the lead. I'm guessing Thorfinn, the little kid, is going to be the lead. It's going to be cool seeing how he becomes a man. In the intro, the Mukajio, like that, that the song, it shows the kid growing up. So I'm gonna be excited to see how he grows. And I honestly can see Thor's, Thorfinn's father dying. And that is what pushes him to follow a certain path. I can see that happening. Or something happens to Thor's, and he just disappears until the end of the show. And there's another anime father that's gone. Anyways, guys, I want you to let me know down below your thoughts on Vinland Saga. How'd you feel about the first episode? How do you feel about the anime in general? Let me know your thoughts down below. But other than that, I am gone. Goodbye. I love you so much.